What we have done at the Council of the Great City Schools to support the implementation of the Common Core has been uh, sort of standing, if you will, in the background, but in a very supportive role for our urban districts. Um, we actually were able to um, get some money from the Gates Foundation to support some planning efforts with six pilot districts. But when we started that work and we would present this information at our conferences, all the other districts wanted to do it too. Um, so what we did is even though the seed money went to some of these particular districts that were the first, if you will, in the queue to say we want to do Common Core, we really opened up our support and our efforts to all of our member districts. And it really is about the planning. Uh, one of the things that we've been really focused on is saying, look, this is not just the latest fad. This is not, let's go buy the latest textbook or do the, the instructional strategies. This is really about shifting expectations, shifting instruction, um, and it's going to take a lot more than just you know a one-year training, for example. So we realize that we really need to uh, support the leadership of our districts in mapping out how they were going to proceed, and that's what we've been doing. So how do we do that? Uh, the first thing we've been focusing on has been awareness and understanding. So we've been working with the writers of the Common Core Standards. They've been coming to a number of retreats that we've put together, focus on content, so English language arts or math. But we've also been doing it at our conferences where we have superintendents, uh, board members, and then senior leaders uh, from the school districts, as well as your instructional leaders in content area, including English language learners, uh, directors of special education, to really understand what the shifts are in instruction, to really unpack, if you will, what is meant by these standards, because people need to understand the shifts, because the investment that needs to be made to really make the shifts real are going to be grand. The perseverance is going to be critical. Um, the patience, too, um, of understanding that when we finally take those assessments several years down the road, we might not do that well, but it will be our baseline. And from there, you start growing. So that's been a, a very important part of what we did. And, and if you will, you know, it might beg the question, well, how come you didn't start with instruction right away? Well, because unless you understand truly what instruction needs to look like, you can't then start delivering instruction. And if you push that prematurely, teachers are going to be very frustrated after going through all this PD and all the big hoopla about this. And two years down the road, it doesn't give them the results that they wanted, um, which has some serious implications too, because right now there's all these new teacher evaluation systems going, you know, that are being set up in states. So there's some real high stakes even for teachers.